What's up everyone, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how gaming has changed NBA players lives. Whether they choose to buy the new PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X, both systems will not only have an impact on their lives but the basketball community as well. Make sure to stay until the end of the video to see just how big of an impact the gaming industry has on the NBA. Let's jump right into the video. NBA players continue to be heavily involved in the world of gaming. Highlighted by the global COVID-19 pandemic, players have become more inclined to keep themselves entertained through video games during self-isolation. Just recently, players were passing the time on either Xbox or PlayStation devices inside the Disney's Orlando bubble facility as the season was finishing. The Los Angeles Lakers had a very public Madden tournament. The Phoenix Suns' DeAndre Ayton got off the plane with a controller in his hand. New Orleans Pelicans' Josh Hart had a new monitor shipped to his hotel room. Just a few examples as gaming has taken over the bubble. Miami Heat big man Miles Leonard is arguably the biggest gamer of them all and recently shared his gaming setup in Orlando. I literally brought my entire gaming setup. An Origin PC, three scuff controllers, a mouse and a keyboard, a monitor, my camera, my Astro headset, a stream deck, a set of speakers and a mic. Nothing too crazy. Even though some people might think this is it, I just knew having my gaming setup was crucial. He wasn't the only one, however. Miami Heat shop blocking center Hassan Wansai did the exact same thing, but took the old school approach. I thought about bringing my gaming PC down to Orlando, but I didn't know what the bubble internet was going to be like. I didn't know if I was going to have the high speed Mickey Mouse connection or not, so I figured I'd just bring the old fashioned PlayStation 4. The first day that we got there and began the 48 hour quarantine in our rooms, I played Call of Duty for 7 hours straight. As you can imagine, there's plenty of free time in the bubble away from basketball and much like other players, Whiteside happily filled the time between practice and games by jumping on the system. I played video games every day in the bubble, it's a stress reliever. It gets your mind off being at work all day. We've got so much time, we can only play so much basketball. So if I'm not on the court or doing anything basketball related, I'm playing Call of Duty. Gaming has saved a lot of guys, it saved me, for sure. Ironically, Sun star Devin Booker was playing Call of Duty when he was informed by another teammate that the league was coming to a halt due to COVID. The NBA season is over. All the NBA is suspended, Devin. I'm sorry, brother, but you just heard it from me. By sharing their love for gaming, Leonard actually turned up at Whiteside's house to help with the setup. Miles turned my whole movie into a game room, Whiteside said, and the things that he did to get the internet to run even faster are unbelievable. I had an amazing internet already, but he put some next level internet in there. I'm talking about over $1,000 a month. The guy who works on my house told me and was laughing about it. He was like, Myers got this setup so sick. For many NBA players, gaming is a form of escape from everyday stress that comes with being a professional basketball player. The platform has also been used for good initiatives, as Leonard used his streaming for charitable purposes last month. The Heat Power Forward was at the heart of the NBA and NBPA 2K tournament launch, featuring 16 NBA players competing for $100,000 to give to their nominated charities. The 16 players were made up of DeAndre Ayton, Harrison Barnes, Patrick Beverly, Devin Booker, Demarcus Cousins, Andre Drummond, Kevin Durant, Ryu Hachimuri, Montrez Harrell, Derek Jones Jr., Zach Levine, Donovan Mitchell, Michael Porter Jr., and DeMontis Sabias, Whiteside, and Trey Young. Leonard is also very passionate about using his live streaming Twitch community to raise money. As of right now, he has generated enough money to feed over 1 million people throughout the platform. It seems as though the relationship between the NBA and gaming will continue to grow and remain intertwined moving forward. This was on full display this past week as NBA players seemingly had first dibs on the latest PlayStation 5 and Xbox series that quickly sold out through America. Los Angeles Lakers superstar LeBron James took to Instagram to unbox the Xbox X series console which released the very same day. The King rarely uses his Instagram to share gaming content, but his son Bronny is a famous gamer and recently landed a sponsorship deal with the gaming powerhouse Space Clan. Bronny joined other ball players Ben Simmons, Josh Hart, Miles Leonard, as well as musicians Offset and Little Yachty as ambassadors. Similar to LeBron, Los Angeles Clippers guard Paul George showed off his brand new PlayStation 5 on Instagram. George had a personal message dedicated to him from the company, and got first priority as the console sold out immediately nationwide. Needless to say, the stigma of gaming has started to reverse its negative reputation in recent years, and the involvement of the NBA has helped out. At the end of the day, NBA players just want to be viewed like everyone else, as Leonard revealed. A lot of athletes love the game, and I know for sure that the NBA players do. It almost normalizes us a bit, because I'm just a normal guy who happens to play in the NBA. I love being part of a team and competing for a title, but I love competing in general. So now, to see guys sharing the part of their lives, it shows people, they're just like us. They just happen to play in the NBA. Are you a sports fan who also loves gaming? Let us know in the comments below what your favorite game is on the new upcoming PS5 and Xbox Series X consoles. Check out some of these videos.